first I go to Inkscape. It's my preferred program. I feel pretty comfortable with it. It's easy to use. Um, I'm going to create a circle, so it's over here on the left. Just go ahead and control, click, and drag so you get a perfect circle there. And I would like it to be, go up to the arrow so you can um, be on the circle again. I go to inches here, I change that. So right now it's 10 inches, that's too large. I want it to be roughly six inches. Six inches is good, 6.012, it's perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my calipers. I have these digital calipers here, and I'm going to be measuring the LED light that I'm going to be working with today. So I have to figure out the length of this slot and the depth. So let's go ahead and do that. Just open these up. So I don't want it too snug. It could have a little wiggle room. That looks good. So that's 3.16 inches. So what I'm going to do is create a rectangle that is 3.16 inches here. So again, I'm going to click this. All right. And Here we go, 3.16, and then the depth. All right, so I basically just push this down here, and it is 0.58 inches. So let's change the height to point, do 0.57, so it definitely has more room. So we're going to add it to the circle. We're gonna click on the circle at the same time also. So we're going to hit shift and um, attach those two. Then we're going to center them, make sure they're nice and even. Make my screen larger. So shift plus. All right. That looks good. So what we'll do now is I'm just going to select both of those together and we're going to path and we're going to union. Now it's one solid piece here. Okay, I'm gonna change this to this gray color because uh, it's easier to see what it'll look like. So I am making a nursery LED lamp for a new baby and her name is Camilla. Now don't ask me what's wrong with this because I have no idea. Um, oops. So all my font, it just it crowds up. I don't know why. So I just go here and I change it to zero every time. There we go. So we'll make this bigger and it's Camilla Rose. Let's find a pretty font for her because Alice in Wonderland just isn't working. I tend to like Britney's signature is a really pretty one. Let's go with that and then See if this is centered. So I choose, I select on everything and then center that. It's just slightly off. So now we're going to add the name Rose. And again, I'll choose zero here so it can separate my letters normally. And I think what I'll do is I will move it over to the side here. So it's not perfectly centered. And let's choose a font that will look nice. I 
and I may change it. I still have to send this over to the customer and see if they like it. And if not, not a big deal. You just go back in there and you make a change. I'm almost thinking it'll look good. All caps. Let's try that. smaller so again I click on control and then drag because if not it'll just make it see what I mean so that way you have control of all the letters staying at the size they're supposed to be so I'm gonna make Camilla bigger again we're gonna center it so control shift control center Camilla and rows off to the side. Well, what I want to do is I hit path and union to make it one solid word and not separate letters. So now I'll hover over it and you can see that they're all welded together. So these letters are going to engrave as one solid name, not separated by letters. So that's ready to go now. So the other thing you want to do if this is ready change this back to black because it's going to be doing the same thing as rose it's going to be engraving so you want to grab both of the names and you want to flip them you want to mirror them so that way when you put it into your machine it's going to engrave on the back side and the front will be nice and smooth and when you put it in the LED light it just looks beautiful and nice and clean that way so I'm going to send this over to my customer see if she likes it once she approves it then I'll go ahead and get this job started Okay, so the print is done. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the Glowforge. Okay, and then we can take the masking off. Again, just doing your best not to touch the actual acrylic. And then I take this piece that I just took off and then take off all that excess. You can probably, you can see like all the little pieces of residue on there. And that's just little bits of acrylic that were engraved off. So I use the actual masking to get all that off. Then all you have left to do is put it on the base. Oops, I still have it. And it comes with a remote. These are the ones I order from Amazon. Let's see if I can. So I order these from Amazon. It comes with a USB cord and instructions and a little remote. So this is where you control it and I can just change the colors. And then it has different rhythms. So it's got flash, strobe, you can do all that. And it's just a really sweet gift or you know something for someone's room or office and you can do just about anything so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video bye